I am back with a speed paint, but not for long. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm very, very sorry that uh, I took so long in doing another speed paint. Uh, another project of mine, a very, I wouldn't say, well, actually, yeah, it is, I would consider a personal project. It has definitely taken the forefront of my life. And it's gotten to the point where I no longer draw as much as I used to, which, honestly, I'm fine with. Uh, will there be more speed paints in the future? I honestly cannot tell you. I, I really can't. Uh, I'm drawing... When I do draw, I'm mainly doing sketches, and you can definitely see those sketches on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, Feel free to follow me on those accounts, but when it comes to speed paints and digital drawings, I'm afraid this one might be the last one in quite some time. So if you guys were starting to like what I have, again, I'm sorry, <laughs> but no, it's, it's not... I'm not stopping this for any weird YouTube reasons or any weird oh, I'm not popular enough or something like that. No, it's just something else is definitely preoccupied my time. And if you want to know more about it, I'll definitely be sure to leave those links down below. So, uh, first I would like to say welcome and thank you all so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you like this fan art. This fan art uh, was... Um, suggested but sadly I can't remember the name of the uh, fan that suggested me to do this uh, she she requested sorry not suggested she requested or they I, I don't know if it's a he or a she but they requested that I do something with characters from Aragon and air and characters from the novice books uh, I really love both those books so I was like yeah why not I could do it or maybe I could do it. I don't know. I was more like, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Because I've never really tried. Or I, I have tried, but I've never been super successful when it comes to drawings with a lot of characters in them. Uh, and as you can see, I am currently doing the sketch work for the Aragon and the novice characters. And in this fan art, it includes Aragon and... Uh, uh, Ar Ariana? <laughs> oh my god, she has a similar name to uh, uh, Game of Thrones little sister Stark chick. I forgot their names. Sorry for the weird noises, by the way. I'm trying to hide myself away while my husband is playing Persona 5. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, and I also have Sephira hiding in the background as well from the Aragon books or the Inheritance books and from the Summoner books I have Fletcher and Silva and Ignatius in the fan art. They're all in a bar, they're having fun, Aragon and Fletcher maybe have had one too many drinks and they're about to spill out some secrets that maybe the others shouldn't know just yet or ever, I don't know. Uh, rules for both these worlds are very, very different, so I was just, I was just doing something to have fun. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, sad, uh, I will say this, I'm going to definitely apologize for the length of this speed paint. As you can see, it's over 15 minutes. See, it's over 10 minutes. And one of the things I told myself, I think, in a previous fan art was that I wanted to cut back on the sketching of the drawings. But because that other fan art technically was taken place after I have already started this one, um, it, it basically, this, this one, I, I basically kept all the, uh, videos I had recorded at the time, and then pretty much took a very long break from digital drawing. So that's kind of the reason for why there's still a sketch work scene in this video. Uh, 
But other than that, uh, I, I actually had a lot of fun figuring out what these characters would look like. Luckily for the Aragon characters, I had the coloring book. So I had the gist of what the characters would look like or dress as, what, what their outfits would look like and what their hairstyle looks like. As for Fletcher and Silva, uh, luckily I did have the books with me, but clearly Silva is not on any of them. And I did find uh, actual canon artwork from this, the same artist that created the uh, covers for the Summoner books. Uh, the outfit, however, that, that Silva's wearing, I decided to take some liberties and, and do something with it instead of some pretty silky elvish dress. So, that is uh, one part of the of the story. <laughs> um, oh man, I really, really can't think of stuff to talk about for 19 minutes. Uh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> um, yeah, pretty. Uh, that's that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, as I said, I really, really, really don't know when or if I will come back to doing digital drawings again. Um, but this other side project I'm working on is. I'm really having a lot of fun, and it's it's just something I really, really want to do. Uh, as much as I like drawing, I honestly can't see it as a professional career of any kind. It, it basically turned into more of a... I'd much prefer to do this as a hobby than uh, as a career thing. I'll, I'll definitely, I don't know, keep missions open if you guys are ever curious and want me to draw something for you guys I, I, I will uh, but requests and stuff those will be closed off indefinitely after this uh, after this video Whew. as you guys can see here I'm currently working on the shading work for Silva uh, and basically the work went from Silva to... Wow, I can't believe I am blanking on her name. Ar... Uh, it starts with an A. Ar Aria, Aria, that's her name. Haha, -ha, I remembered! <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Definitely like to thank you guys again for at least stopping by and checking out the fan art. It does kind of suck how I'm basically stopping stuff like this for a while. Uh, I'm, I'm reading a few more books and there are just more characters I want I want to draw, but there are other things I are, that are taking precedence at the moment, so. Well, but maybe a quick update, seeing as it's been a very, very long time since you guys have even heard from me. I have gotten married. Uh, it's just a, it was just a quick small one in February, and then I'm going to have a much more themed version in October. If you guys haven't guessed it, of course, it's going to be fantasy themed. <laughs> so, there's that. And uh, before I forget, seeing as now we have come to Aria. I've noticed a lot of people draw her with the fair pale skin and stuff, but I remember in her book, and I was very curious, Arya is described with having tawny skin. Now, I honestly didn't know what tawny was, what color it was, so I got curious and went on Google to, t to search what tawny skin is. Apparently, tawny is a type of not, it's not only a type of leather, but the color is kind of like a... It's somewhere in the brownish range. So like, uh, not a tan brown, but it's like somewhere between a tan brown and brown. So, I was like, huh. Well, I think I have an idea of, uh... 
what to color her now, because I, I didn't originally. Um, but yeah, I really, really like how these characters came out. This is also another case of not sure when I'll ever come back to these characters again, but they're fun. Uh, if you guys ever do decide to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, you will see mainly a lot more sketches, not finished work, of character ideas, possible characters, new characters, etc. And a majority of them will definitely be original characters. Fan arts may not happen unless maybe for certain reasons. Uh, just recently I, I did finish Mermaid, and all the mermaids were pretty much just original drawings. I was just trying to come figure out different kinds of mermaids to draw each day and they were all done uh, with as sketches. Nothing finished, nothing crazy. And it was fun trying to figure out uh, new bottom halves for the mermaids from types of fins to fish fins to uh, octopus tentacles. <laughs> oh yeah, and jellyfishes too. I thought those were those were fun to do too. Aragon, um, you know, is, is it weird when reading a book, I'll sometimes like a main character or, or I don't like them at all, and sometimes I may prefer the secondary characters or something like that, so for Aragon, like, I like him, he's not a bad kid, but I may like his cousin more. <laughs> His cousin, his cousin Rowan was just like, like, you're, you're not bad, Aragon, but I think I'll go with your cousin. I don't know why. His cousin was very nice. I think it was mainly because Rowan seems to think more than Aragon does, and, and it just seems like he, he knows what he wants and he knows what he needs done. Aragon... Sometimes he thinks, sometimes he doesn't think. And then when he does think, he takes a bit too long to think, so... I don't know. I know there's, there's definitely something about Rowan that I really, really like, and I, I think it's because, uh... How much he's quick to be to take up the leader role. Uh, even under duress. So, uh, I've, I've become a, a big Rowan fan over Aragon, but I will definitely still be an Aragon fan regardless. Hmm. Yeah, because of uh, drawings like these, um, whenever there's like so many characters in a scene, it, it can really drain me for a while. Originally, I was also, like, in the beginning, while well, in the thumbnail phasing, I was actually considering the tr the uh, Dwarvish Companions from both books. I sadly can't remember Aragon's foster brother from the Inheritance books, but for Fletcher, it's Othello. And I was originally going to have them behind the counters, like, serving the drinks. But then I was like... It's already too many characters and a lot more colors, and I didn't want to do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> so I left them out, but I did decide to add Ignatius and Sephira into the drawing, even though they're mainly in the background. Uh, Sephira is, if I remember correctly, has always been described as being such a massive creature, to the point like she's even supposed to be even bigger than the dragons from Game of Thrones. And I'm like, I have seen the concept of how big those dragons are s supposed to be. You're telling me she can get bigger than that? Holy crap. <laughs> now, as for Ignatius, he is... Uh, I'm actually still very confused on how the author has decided to categorize his drakes and dragons because apparently even to him his drakes are not dragons why i don't have a damn clue but it's kind of annoying so 
Ignatius is in Drake form, not in dragon form, because if anyone's read the very last book in the Summoner series, the dragon is so massive that apparently if Fletcher wants to have Ignatius become a dragon, he needs to let go of his... Um... I don't remember what the link connection is called between the summoner and the demon, but he's got to sever it in order to allow Ignatius to become a dragon and then reconnect again. <laughs> and apparently that might be a lot harder said than done because a dragon is supposed to be so powerful and sadly, Fletcher is not that powerful. I mean, he probably could be one day, but I don't, I don't know. I still don't fully understand the whole, um, I don't know, leveling system or ranking system between summoners. Just, just go with, I just, I just go with it. <laughs> What's wrong with just making dragons dragons? Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding, like... We got, we got term for dragon, and then there were drakes, and then people decided to change the term for drakes for some reason. So now, drakes are possibly a type of dragon, maybe they're not, I don't know. And then you got the whole changing appearances, like the drakes. If I remember correctly, when I grew up learning about drakes, they were two-winged, four-legged dragons. Now, people have made them wingless dragons, and some of them have gone as far as making sure they didn't breathe fire, or maybe they do. Who knows? I don't know. It depends on the damn creators. Yippee. <laughs> and, of course, you got wyverns, and then, if, and then in Tolkien's world, he made wyverns drakes, and drakes are dragons, and it's just so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's too many different information on dragons. There shouldn't be so much, but for some reason there is, and I'm sad about that. <laughs> I shouldn't be sad, but I am. Deal with it! <laughs> well, we're about mm, nearing the end of this of this video. Um, what did you guys think of the, uh, of these two different books? In the Inheritance Cycle and the Summoner series. If I want to be honest, I did enjoy the Summoner series, but I was still very disappointed in certain things, mainly in the world building, and I thought the story was still very predictable. But if you ask me if I if I will I be able to read more from the from this author, my answer is also going to be yes, because I I I did like some of the uh, the ideas and the concepts he had for this world, and some of the characters like the the main character of his Summoner series, Fletcher. I've honestly never fallen in love with a main character so hard and so fast before until Fletcher. I know he has the outcast, but I'm, I've just been eh, because this author has also made his chapters so short. I'm not saying that your chapters need to be long to make a book, but originally he did have his first story in Wattpad, and if I remember correctly, I've spoken with most of those readers on Wattpad, and when it comes to reading things online, especially on Wattpad, they would much prefer reading short chapters. But when it comes to actual books in in your hand, they would much prefer longer chapters. Now, I believe that because he made the chap he left the chapters so short that I believe he left out on that world building, which I don't think he should have done. I think he should have made the chapters longer and delved deep into the world, into the magic system as well into this in this book. But I mean, not everyone is a Christopher Paolini or a George R. R. Martin or J.K. Rowling. Uh, either way, the world was fun and exciting, and I very much enjoyed it. Well, we've pretty much reached the end. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and uh, please follow me on other sites. Bye-bye!